This time last year, I covered three titles in a burgeoning genre I called Wario Likes, games that use Nintendo's treasure hunting terror for inspiration. Although I compared these games to Wario's previous outings, their success was in evolving past this source material. My goal at the end of the video was to find more titles that channeled Wario's spirit, and since then I've done what I can to champion those that fit the bill. It just so happens that the developers behind one of those games reached out to me regarding their next project, which is currently looking for funding via Kickstarter. They were kind enough to let me try out a demo, and, well, I haven't been able to put it down since. My goal with this video is to make my new favourite game a reality, so let me convince you why it could be your new favourite as well. Anton Blast is the follow-up to Anton Board Deluxe, developed by Summit Sphere. While their first game was a confluence of Mario Bros, Breakout and Wario, this demo is a focused action platformer. It calls to mind titles like Wario Land 4 and Pizza Tower, and builds on the mythology from their previous game. Whilst the developers could have easily phoned in an Anton Land in the style of Wario, by tapping deeper into their influences, Blast manages to go beyond mere emulation, and stands distinct from other, more well-known Wario likes. Summit Sphere is not building a Wario Land 5 here, because Anton Blast is something far more impressive. In this demo, players take on the role of Anton, the namesake of both games. Here he has been redesigned from a Mario-esque everyman into a hulking bruiser, heavier but more nimble than he was in Deluxe. His moves remain similar to Anton Ball, with a jump and shoulder barge similar to Wario for quick vertical and horizontal navigation. However, Anton has learnt a new trick since his last outing. His main means of offence is a hammer, and like Shovel Knight, its utility is baked throughout the entire experience. It easily smashes through stone and sends enemies careening off screen. Calling to mind Amy Rose in the Sonic Adventure series onwards, Anton's hammer can be chained while landing to create bouncy double jumps, great for reaching higher platforms and raining pain on enemies. Finally, it's a means to interact with the environment such as blowing holes in the ground and flipping manhole covers. When I initially covered Anton Ball Deluxe for my Wario Likes video, one thing that struck me was how the developers adapted the Wario control scheme to a sports game. Being able to quickly hop around 2D space felt satisfying, as was thwacking a ball with Anton's weight. Here, brick breaking has been let off the leash, with a world that extends into the distance. I appreciate that with this change, Summit Sphere haven't reinvented its entire move kit, and instead use simple logic like the hammer bounces to add more depth. Where they could have easily decided to give Anton a standard mid-air double jump, they've created a move that is consistently fun to pull off, due to the timing needed to successfully execute it, and the chaos that unfurls from it. The fact that players who will stick with it will be rewarded by reaching new areas is further encouragement to dig into its control scheme. The aim of this demo level was to find a clock at the end of an obstacle course, and then rush back to an exit akin to Wario Land 4. With this demo set initially in a construction site, it's an invitation to smash through debris and wandering mobs. Throughout the level are casino chips that act as Anton's income and the game's scoring system, encouraging the one to explore and destroy to boss the bank. As the title suggests, Stanton is a one-man wrecking crew, and much of the fun of this demo is causing insane collateral damage. Each room has a few moments where you'll cathartically clear out junk, calling to mind the simple joy of destroying props in other games, taken to a logical and entertaining extreme. But it's not all mindless. Taking a little influence from the Crash Bandicoot series, some crates can be used as temporary platforms for Anton to bounce around the environment. In the demo's case, these blocks were craftily used for hiding pockets of big money and even secret areas, if Anton could be navigated across them. Another thing that Anton Blast's titles refers to is Summit Sphere's additional wrinkle to the formula. Wario Land 4 could change level design by addition and removal of frog blocks, and this demo expands on the idea with detonators. Coming in four unique card suites, they permanently remove some blocks from the level, causing route changes and setting up puzzle payoffs. Whilst a lot of modern platformers are incredibly rigid in their level layouts, it's refreshing to see a developer play with expectations like this in such a fun way. I imagine that in the final game, levels will be built around seeking out these detonators, perhaps even setting them off in the correct sequence. As for explosions themselves, the engine doesn't struggle once rendering them, 
and they never become overwhelming thanks to clean level construction and strong silhouette design. One last gimmick throughout this level was the ability for Anton to jump between the foreground and background layers. It's absolutely a reference to Wario's Virtual Boy outing, but Summer Sphere goes beyond it just being a simple nod because they understand its utility and make the most of it. Jumping into the background changes the challenge. Because Anton is smaller and doesn't take up as much screen space, these platforms can be more layered and complex, akin to the vertical scaffolding in Donkey Kong 94. They can even be obstructed by elements in the foreground. It's two distinct styles of platform challenge, separated only by depth of field. To note for Wario fans, there are no transformations in this demo, but to be completely honest, the level design and Anton's move kit is strong enough that they're not at all necessary. Right now, Summit Sphere has a great set of tools for creating future levels, and I'm encouraged to see how they can build on this simple introduction. There were a few mechanics like sliding and rolling that I wanted to see a bit more of, especially in regards to completing levels in record times. Very few platform games outside of Wario and Pizza Tower have come this close to creating such an inviting playground to run through, which is likely why I've kept replaying the demo to now new high schools. What I want to stress most is that I'm not recommending Anton Blast because it's a lot of elements that I like from other games combined. What was so exciting about Wario Land 4 was that it was so unique in a genre that it'd been mostly informed by Super Mario and Sonic. It's what defined Wario that he could be a puzzle platform punk rock treasure seeking gremlin, not a second rate Mario. Wario Land 4's escape sections for example flipped level designs on their head, a puzzle a player had to solve on the fly. They were a fit for Wario who barred through problems and could be a bit of a putz, taking the sting out of being sent back a few seconds. It was a concept that could and should have been evolved on. Anton Blast like Peter Tower also include these escape times and like that game includes it for a good reason. This initial demo is a simple area, and so it is pretty much a straight shot back, for the most part. There is a puzzle that needs to be solved to clear the way, something that Wario and Pizza Tower rarely do. It's a peek into what I believe this game is going to be lauded for, a take on the escapist Wario formula, with a question on how you open the way ahead, rather than just remembering the path you took. This is something that I don't know has been done before in another platformer, and so I'm really keen to see what Summit Sphere does with the concept. Like Sonic Mania did for the Mega Drive, Summit Sphere has moved Anton Blast's look beyond slavish recreation of Game Boy Advance aesthetics. Anton and his enemies are fully animated here, and the quality is genuinely astounding. Anton's movement reaches a level of locomotion that Wario never quite reached in his own titles. The world too is a lot deeper and prettier than the static arenas of Anton Ball Deluxe, which were a great fit for that game, but I appreciate that they were properly adapted for a new platformer. The soundtrack also is as great as it was previously, taking on a more New Jack Swing vibe in Anton Blast, and I'm keen for more of the game just to hear new themes alongside new level layouts. I hope that the rest of the Anton Ball cast might be able to get in on the action as well. I'm not expecting a multiplayer title which should give you all a reason to check out the original Anton Ball Deluxe long after Blast comes out to see these ideas in a different format. This aesthetic upgrade is indicative of Anton Blast as a whole. It's not a straightforward successor, neither for Anton Ball nor Wario Land. Many elements are familiar, but through Summit Sphere's keen eye and unique flourishes it feels like new ground. There's an old adage about good art is copying and great art is stealing, and it feels appropriate for Anton Blast. In some ways it feels like Anton Blast was a game made specifically for me, combining elements of Crash Bandicoot, Wario Land and classic GBA games, but why Blast works is that Summit Sphere takes these influences, expands them and makes them all their own. Hammer platforming, crates, detonators and foreground background level shifts are great gimmicks in this demo, but replaying it a few times made me realise just how much additional depth could be found within them. My hope with the full game isn't that Summit Sphere can continue to blunder mechanics from other games, but it's that they can show how clever they can be with the few elements they now have. I don't want to leave my impressions singing to a choir of dedicated Wario fans. Those people I'm sure are keen to support Anton Blast on Kickstarter, and I'll say that the demo very much lives up to the promises they're making. Rather, this is the exact game that I've been hoping for since the end of the Wario Likes video. I won't compare Anton Blast to Pizza Tower because both are doing their own thing, 
With the former more about transformations and building non-stop speed, whereas Anton Blast is focusing on collateral damage and puzzle solving. This isn't a remake of Wario Land 4, because that game already exists. Rather, if you're looking for a platform game that skews a little funnier, is prettier than the retro revivals and is adding something new within the genre of Wario likes, then I implore you to help me make Anton Blast happen.